Hello everybody, Dirty Abner here. Today we're going to play Contradiction. Uh, to play this game, I have a special guest with me. You want to introduce yourself? Just call me Sunshine. Wow, that was that was creepy. You're creepy. Um, so yeah, um, so we have Sunshine here, or Katie as I like to call her. Um, uh, so we're going to play this game together. It's a murder mystery, so we'll get to solve a murder. Dun dun dun. Um, it's done. It's kind of like a, a a point and click type game with uh, like an old FMV, like a Tex Murphy game or something along those lines. I, I've heard some good things about it, so we want to check it out. I guess the whole point of the game is to interview people and try to catch them in lies. Uh, that's the name contradiction. I mean, you like calling people on their BS, so I figured this was right up your alley. So, so uh, let's you get to it. You also have a good attention to detail, where I'm a bit of a buffoon. Okay, so we probably need to watch the prologue first huh, to find out about this case, so let's do that now. My name is Jenks, Detective Inspector Frederick Jenks, and I've been assigned to a last-minute investigation into the death of Kate Vine. A PhD student found drowned at midnight last Friday in a lake in the woods on the outskirts of the tiny village of Edenton. I have until first thing tomorrow morning to decide whether her death was a simple accident or whether this was murder. Dun, dun, Kate dun. Vine appeared to the world to be a bright, confident, fun-loving PhD student with everything to live for. However, a history of depression and alcoholism revealed in her medical records suggests that in reality, she had become adept at climbing Extreme close up! A lab report indicating a high level of alcohol in her blood, along with the late hour of her death and a lack of witnesses, makes a strong case that this was suicide. But the verdict overlooked some curious details. Why was her driving license found on the opposite side of the lake in which she drowned? Also, there were traces of morphine in Kate's system. Where did she get it? Kate was known to be a free spirit with a nihilistic love of danger, which may, in part, have something to do with a business course called Atlas, which Kate had joined and which she had been attending on the night of her death. Based in a large, stately home on the outskirts of the village, the exclusive Atlas is run by father and son team, Paul and Ryan Rand. Both were interviewed following Kate's death, but neither claimed to have seen Kate after the meeting, and both were understandably eager to distance themselves and Atlas from the tragedy. This isn't the first time that Atlas has been investigated. Atlas and their questionable methods, which many have suggested border on mind control. So they're a Ryan is married to Rebecca, landlady of Edenton's village pub, the George and Dragon. I'm calling As it their cult. She hasn't been interviewed, though it's likely Kate visited the pub on more than one occasion. One of Kate's friends was Emma Bowman, who lives at Eden Lodge on the road eye. leading out of Edenton Village. Emma was also doing a PhD at the same university, but didn't attend Atlas. Interviewed after Kate's death, Emma seemed shocked and upset, insisting she hadn't seen Kate that night. However, it turned out her boyfriend had. Simon Thompson met Emma at university. After completing his degree around 18 months ago, he went to work at a shop in the neighboring village. He started at the Atlas course a few months ago. Simon insisted that he didn't see Kate after the meeting, but the sergeant interviewing him noted he seemed oddly unmoved by her death, which makes him the first person I want to see tonight. It's time for some answers. Yes, let's get some answers. I, I'm calling it that Atlas is a cult. They did it. End of story. All right, thanks for watching, right, everybody. Bye. <laughs> See you next time. All right, I guess we're going to start the game here. Rebecca's Pub. All right, so you said we have till tomorrow to figure this out? Yeah. That's That seems kind of strange that you have that short of amount of time to complete an investigation, but... I guess his is a follow-up investigation, though. It's not like the police already did stuff. Uh, he said he wanted to talk to that Simon guy first. Well, you know, my name is Simon, and I like to do drawings. Uh, let's pull up the map. Let's see. 
Yeah, all right. Uh, welcome to Eden Village. Use the direction keys on your controller to move around the village. If you see the magnifying glass, your investigate button to see Jenks investigate. Okay. Your inventory button. See collected items, which includes both physical objects and information Jenks has collected. If you're at a location where you think you can use a physical button item, try to use the try the use button. All right. So, all right. Here's a map. So. Let me look around here. Okay, so we're in front of the pub. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, Simon and Emma are up here. Oh, this is the lake. Okay, that's where her body was found. And Atlas is... See, look, look, look. She was dead here. Atlas is right there. I'm calling it. She was dead there and Simon's right there. So you think Simon did it? No, I'm just saying. All right, so we got Simon, Emma, the body found, Atlas, uh, Paul, Ryan, Rand are here, the Abbey Farm, post office, phone box. Okay. All right, so I guess we want to head towards, what do we want to do first? Do we want to go talk to Simon first? Yes, that's what Jinx wanted to do. That's what, that is what Jinx wanted to do. All right, so we'll go. This way. So we go here. Go right to Eden Lodge. Knock for Simon. Oh wait, we got the investigation thing here. Let's see. Investigate a bike. It's very trusting, leaving a bike unlocked. Looks like. Homebrew equipment. Hmm. Interesting. Ah. This might come in handy. So you're just gonna steal it? Apparently. <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> this might come in handy. I'm just gonna pocket it. <laughs> Nobody will miss it. Very trusting, but I'm gonna steal this. Yeah, see, we got, you know, there's a, we have a screwdriver in our inventory now. Alright. Sure. <laughs> All right, what else do we have? Oh, see, we have a picture of her. We have her driving her driving, driving license. license, or as normal people say, her driver's license. And some notes, okay. So we've already got notes. See, we're already making headway. All right, let's uh, knock for Simon, I guess. Simon? Simon? Let, let Jenks do it. Simon? <laughs> Is it Simon? Detective Inspector Jenks, I'm investigating an incident in the village. Could I come in and ask you a few questions, please? Um, yeah, thank you. Simon's kind of creepy looking. He is kind of creepy looking. He's got like this weird, like, Draco Malfoy vibe uh, coming can you just up. go through here if you want? Uh, Emma's working in the front room. Hi. Uh, this is Inspector Jenks. Jenks. What's all this about? There was a death in the village. Kate Vine, I believe you both knew her. Yeah. Do you need to speak to both of us? Uh, I'll just speak to Simon first, if that's okay. <laughs> just come through. I love this Jenks guy. He's so animated. Is it okay in here? Oh, this will be fine. Yeah. Do you want anything? Water? No, no, no. I won't be long. Okay. Just the facts. All right. I guess we're getting down to business here. All right. So I guess we. All right. First interview. First, pick an item you want to ask about, then press the select button to see Jinx ask about it. When you've heard the reply, you'll see a summary of what's said in the box at the bottom. Simon said blah blah blah. He also said blah blah blah. <laughs> okay, so then the contradictions appear here and here. Okay. Selecting any item you've already asked about shows the summary of replies. Now select any reply to add it to the contradiction box. Oh, okay, so we're going to gather... We're going to gather information in the big box, and when we find two things that contradict, we put them in the side here and watch Jenks uh, interrogate, go to town on them, I guess. All right, what do we want to ask him about first? I guess we should just start with her picture. Probably. It isn't worth asking Simon about the screwdriver because, you know, we don't want to let him know we stole it. We stole the screwdriver outside your house. <laughs> Tell me about that screwdriver. Right, let's ask him about the death. 
All right, so... When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? Um, so last Friday's meeting, I think. Did you see her after the meeting? No. How long have you known Kate? That would be when we started Atlas. Three months ago. Did you socialise outside Atlas? No. How would you describe her? Uh, what sort of person was she? Well, she's talented. Uh, she was full of life, you know? Sharp, quite sharp. Would you say she had any emotional problems? She, her mood, her mood could change. And, well, there was the drinking problem. When did you become aware of that? Well, she would come drunk to a meeting sometimes. She, she would read all the stuff. Think. I mean, everyone knew, but <laughs> nobody really said anything. So, tell me a bit about Atlas. Oh, it's just a business management training program for postgrads. And you started this after you left college? Uh, yeah. And it's on every Friday? Yeah, well, my group isn't doing it this Friday, but uh, one of the groups is. Okay, thanks. But your group did it last Friday, so you don't normally meet on Fridays. All right, so he last saw Kate at the LLS meeting Friday, only known Kate for three months. Didn't socialize with Kate outside of Atlas, often seemed drunk at Atlas. Yeah, I don't think there's, I don't think we have anything there that really contradicts at all. No. Uh, let's ask him about the license, I guess. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? No. No, I don't think so. Never seen it before. God, this guy's giving me a creepy vibe. The way he looked up after he looked at the license. It's like, oh, damn, I dropped this. All right, doesn't know anything about the license or so he says. Uh, sure. It looks like we can ask him about the bicycle and the bottle. Oh, let's ask him about the homebrew. All right. I noticed a lot of bottles outside. Are they yours? Yeah, I'm at homebrew. For yourself? Well, no, I give it out to my friends and stuff. I tried selling it at first, but I didn't have any takers. Except for James over at Farmlands. I used to trade it to him for, for herbs and stuff. Herbs? Do you see James a lot? Yeah, herbs. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow, a lot of information there. Simon told Jinx about his homebrew. All right. This is getting us nowhere. So, but it did give, well, it gave us a new, because we had the box of bottles right. and now we know it's Simon's homebrew, which I'm sure is garbage. All right, let's ask him about the bicycle, I guess. Which is the bike outside? Oh, that's my cousin's. He lent me it. Uh, I need to buy a new lock for it, though. So it's your bike at the moment? Yeah, yeah. And there's no bus service to speak of around here, so it's really the only way to get around. <laughs> I love this guy. And these this the cyber dude's like playing it all straight and Jinx is all like, oh, oh how about this? Who do you know about this? <laughs> it's like it's great. Alright, let's see. So we don't have anything else we can ask about. But none of this stuff seems contradictory in any anyway. Alright, so I guess we're gonna I guess we're done with Simon. Let's Thank go, you. Let's Probably go interview Emma. Later. Don't worry, it's only a few questions. Yeah. All right. I guess we'll start from the beginning. Very good place to start. When was the yes. last time you saw Kate Vine? It was last Thursday in the college library. Um, I saw her and we chatted for a bit. She seemed her usual self. What was her usual self? Oh, just Kate being Kate. You know, a bit wild. Wild? What way wild? Oh, she just used to question everything, you know. Have arguments with the lecturers, things like that. What else? Kate had a drink problem. How uh, noticeable was that? Well, it wasn't at first, but as the year went on, she'd be drunk in the afternoon. But I think she cut down, you know, towards the end of college and when she started her PhD. Hmm. So she's a, she's she's got some she got some issues. Mm -hmm. I think is what we're learning about Kate here. So she claimed to see her on Thursday, and she 
was found dead on Friday. Okay, so she's not an Atlas. No, I guess not. I guess she's... No, her boyfriend is. The, just the Simon, Simon guy. Yeah. Alright, let's ask her about the license. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? Um, I don't know, but I, I don't think so. Okay. Oh, simple enough. Can we ask her about the screwdriver? No, we're not, we're not telling anybody we stole that screwdriver. <laughs> a bike, all right. Who's is the bike outside? Oh, it's Simon's cousin's. He uses it to get to work. You know the lock's broken. Oh, I know. I keep telling him to fix it. Oh, their stories are so good. Right. A box of bottles. What's the stack of bottles outside? Oh, that's all Simon's stuff. You better ask him. I, I don't know. You don't know? You live with him and he makes homebrew and you don't know? Right. Have you ever tried Simon's homebrew? Me? <laughs> no. I don't like beer. I only drink wine. I can't stand spirits either. Me either. They're scary. Sometimes they say boo. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so she doesn't like beer, only drinks wine and hates spirits. Yeah, but she doesn't know what the box of bottles is outside. That's that's weird. But Can she... we do that? So, bottles belong to Simon. Oh, but that doesn't really... There's yeah, no, that doesn't that... really contradict anything, actually. Yeah, no. Get that out of there. Yeah, that doesn't really, yeah, that that really do anything. All right, let's... That's all we can ask about now. We didn't get anything new from her to go back to Simon, so... Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. I don't know. Something doesn't add up with those two. the window for Emma. Simon always answers the front door. Oh, <laughs> so instead of going through the house, we're just gonna knock on a window to talk to her in the future. Okay, lovely. I guess we'll back out. Or let's pull the map back up. Should we go? I I think we should go investigate the the murder scene. Yeah, sure. Why not? Like where they found the body. That makes sense to me. Probably. All right. So which way is that? We need to go continue. Into the woods. Should we go to the right first? Well, it'll, go it'll, for it'll, a swim. Well, maybe there's something that floated over the lake. Let's go there first. Okay, fine. I'm. There's nothing. <laughs> fine. All right. Go into the woods. The jetty. I guess that's where they found her body, huh? Uh oh. Ooh, we got the magnifying glass. Ooh. Looks like a piece of jewelry there. Stuck between the boards. Well and truly wedged in. That's where the screwdriver comes in handy. <laughs> oh boy, I'm glad we <laughs> stole that screwdriver. Thanks, Simon. Interesting. I thought forensics had checked the whole area. Obviously not very well. Now your well. prints are all over <laughs> it. Why don't you touch it all over? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of feel like people have given up on this case if they're just letting him go around grabbing stuff. Hey, hey but at least we got a new talking point here. The broken pendant. That is the only new thing. Yeah, that's the only new thing. Okay. I guess that's all there. Who are those blokes over across the pond? See what I did there? I used I used British talk. I see. I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. Or heard that. I guess this case maybe. <laughs> All right. Let's go up the woods. Go into the clearing. Let's get out of the clearing. <laughs> you know what's really cool about this is a lot of these games just use a picture in the background, but these are actually like videos, like because stuff's moving and stuff. That's kind of cool. It is. Well, let's go to Atlas. Makes me want to go on vacation. Let's go join the cult. Sure. Enter the Atlas building. Or not. I have to come back later, oh, I boogers. think. Screwdriver. <laughs> Can we jimmy it open? Oh, no, that... We don't... Nope, can't use mm -hmm. it. Okay, fine. I guess we're not going to Atlas. Well, that's stupid. Alright, let's 
head back. Should we go ask them about the necklace, maybe? Yeah, and then uh, we should go find the Paul and Ryan. Oh, the, the Rand, the, Rand, the Atlas, Atlas the, guys? The Atlas guys. Should we talk to Emma or Simon first? Let's go knock for Emma. All right. A few more questions, if you don't mind. This is weird. Just, uh, uh, hey, I'm here. <laughs> Thank you, Java, for letting me know you have an update in the middle of my recording. All right. Let's ask her about the pendant. Ever seen this? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like... Uh... This guy's great. That's my old dentist. I gave this to Kate. So Kate might have been wearing it last Friday. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, perhaps, but I can't see why. She was always buying new things, you know, lots of jewelry, stuff like that. It's meant to be a bird in cage, but the cage's fallen off. Oh, I'll show you. Where did you buy it? I didn't. Some wanted present. Secret admirer. Mm, that's so secret. I see. That's how it should have looked. It's called a freedom necklace. Do you mind if I keep this? No. At all. So the necklace mm. did belong to Kate. Interesting. I'm starting mm. to wish I'd brought a spare evidence bag. Yeah, right. Or maybe some gloves. <laughs> Wait, did the necklace? All right, necklace was Emma's, but she gave it to Kate. Oh. So it was Kate's necklace. Kate bought lots of new jewelry. The necklace was an unwanted gift. I'd have to think something's gonna. Because that seems kind of random to not ever come back into question. Okay. All right, that's it for her. Let's go ask, let's go ask Be Simon. Be back later on, if that's okay. Be back later on, if that's okay. All right, let's ask him. The Freedom Necklace. Oh, okay, so ask about the whole necklace. You know what this is? Yeah. Yeah, I think Emma had one like it. Actually, you know what? Kate had one. I remember because I asked her about it one night when we were all out drinking in college. I was what? probably pretty drunk. You said you That's didn't socialize with her. It's true. Yeah, I see, uh... see. Wait. Kate wore a necklace at college. I thought maybe. And. And he said he didn't. Only known Kate for three months. Uh, Since Atlas, right? Since Atlas. Aha. Yes. So how did you know Kate was wearing a freedom necklace eighteen months ago? Gotcha, bitch. I'm a creep. Kate in college, but I, I didn't get to know her till till we started Atlas. Right. So you didn't socialize with her at college. No. And you didn't socialize with her outside of Atlas. Uh, no. So going drinking is not yeah. socializing. Outside oh, Atlas. What can you just say? Um. Oh, he's getting. No. No. He was banging her, and the girlfriend got jealous. This is this is all coming clear to me now. So Simon did you did see that? Kate at college, but why would he lie about that? Maybe he knows Kate better than he's willing to admit. Yeah. Six o'clock. In the biblical sense. He knows her biblically. Or I guess knew her. I guess we should say knew. She's gone now. Alright, well. this is We're off to a good start, I think. So, we'll go ahead and uh, wrap up this episode. Um, yeah, that, that guy. I think there's something fishy there, for creepy. sure. Creepy. Super creepy. All right, well, don't forget to like and subscribe and keep an eye out for the next video in the series. We're going to we're going to figure this one out, all right? Of course. Go team. Yay. Puffin stuff. I don't know. What? I don't know. All right. Well, thanks for watching everybody. We will see you next time.